Maricopa County kicked off a massive operation to get our frontline health care workers vaccinated today. That's right. And as of this morning, about 30,000 eligible health care workers had registered to get that two shot vaccine. Our Carissa Planel joining us live now with reaction from some of them. Good evening, Carissa. Good evening. There are about 123,000 health care workers in Maricopa County that are eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine right now. And today we talked to some of them who said this was an emotional day. Being part of history today. I'm part of history. Dr. Amy Axberg, an emergency medicine physician, one of the first health care workers to roll up their sleeve. I made my own Band-Aid. This is our goodbye to COVID. There are five drive through vaccine dispensing sites across Maricopa County. Today, two opened up. This is kind of like the sun's coming up after a dark night. Critical care nurse Lindsay Medeiros grateful for the vaccine. She has been working with COVID-19 ICU patients for months. I feel right now that I'm missing out a lot at home and that's where I get emotional because I've dedicated myself to you know, work and so as a mother it's very hard. The issue is going to be really um, having enough doses at the right time. Dr. Shad Marvasti, Director of Public Health at the University of Arizona College of Medicine. He notes the Pfizer vaccine is a two-shot system, so supply and logistics will be key in protecting frontline workers against COVID-19. It still is not set that it's going to reduce the risk of spreading it or getting it, but at least you're not going to get severely ill. Many participants today are encouraging others to get the shot when their time comes. My five-year-old said to me, Mommy, I'm so proud of you. And I'll talk to you when you get back. Don't worry, it won't hurt when you get the shot. Public health experts I spoke to today believe a majority of healthcare workers will get vaccinated as long as two things are in play effective communication to let them know how to get vaccinated, and second, that the process is convenient. Reporting live, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.